Hey guys, welcome back to the course. So in this lecture, I'm gonna take the uh, design that I introduced to you before, it was called our marketing access portal. I know, I have a way with words. Um, and I'm gonna show you how you can import that into Pidoka with some really basic techniques, then I can output that into a deployable, usable prototype. Now, this is the point at which you probably have design in hand. Um, if you are interested in designing it yourself, I'm in the process of creating another course to help entrepreneurs, designers, uh, anybody who wants to actually get even more into this and do the design themselves. But right now, the best thing you can do is find someone else to design it. So I'm, at this point, we're assuming you have something to work with. It doesn't have to be perfect. It could be a UI kit. It could be a theme you bought, whatever. Um, but using Pidoku is incredibly simple, guys. We're not gonna use any code. Um, it's really something that anybody can do and it really doesn't even take that much time. So. Without further ado, I'm going to show you how we can take the marketing access panel that I just showed you in the last lecture, put it into Pioco, and then start working with it. All right, so I'm going to show you how to take those designs that you've gotten created, whether they're polished or not, and move those into Pidoco and to start add some interactivity. Now, there's going to be multiple lectures on this. I'm going to show you right now how we're going to do the front end of the web version. And then later, I'm going to show you how we do the tablet version and the mobile version. And then we'll bring it all together and I can show you what they look like in actual uh, display on actual devices. So. What I did is I just went ahead and created a uh, project. Now, remember to label it correctly, not like we did last time. I just called it the MAP prototype. MAP was the marketing access portal. Um, and that was what I showed you in the previous lecture. So that's what we're gonna use since that one has wireframes and design and it's easy to use. So I went ahead and I went ahead and created a page right here just to save a little bit of time. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create multiple pages um, and then I'm gonna, we're gonna go through and I'm gonna show you how we import the images and use interactivity. Uh, so right here is the home screen. And now one thing that's worth doing is when I get to the home screen, I just know that I'm going to import an image and use it uh, kind of as the background here. But what you need to do is you need to make sure that your canvas is large enough to accommodate the image. And the way that you do that is you would go to first, uh, go to the image files that you have. And if you're on a Macintosh, you right click it and you hit get info. If you're on a PC, it's a very similar process. Um, what we do is we just go to more info. You can see it, this little thing right here. And it gives you the dimensions, 1600 by 2022. And obviously I know that it has more height than it has width. So this is gonna be the height and this is gonna be the width. So now that I know that 1600 by 2022, you can go in here. Now select the page and right click this and then go to width. And I've already set it right here. Uh, it looks like I made a mistake, 22. Um, and then when you hit enter or you click out, it will resize to roughly what the image should be. Now that's good because if I had a canvas that was too small and I imported an image that was big, it would overlay on top of the canvas. And then when I go to simulate it, I'd actually only display the part that is pasted over the canvas. And that would be a problem. 